In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix using cofactor expansion. Keep in mind that we already know how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. In fact, we learned a trick for 3x3 three three matrices, although it's not too reliable. It only works for 3x3 three three matrices. So this is where cofactor expansion becomes useful. The question reads, evaluate the following third order determinant using cofactor expansion. Another word for cofactor expansion is Laplace expansion or even Miner's method. And the formula, namely for 3x3 three three matrices using cofactor expansion, is shown underneath. It's a very simplistic formula, but it needs some explanation. As you can see, we have E, S, M. E stands for element, S stands for sign, and M stands for minor. Remember what a minor matrix is. It's a matrix within a matrix that is found by eliminating a row and a column. The first thing that you do when you use cofactor expansion is choose a row or a column that you want to eliminate. And normally you want to pick a row or a column that has zeros or as many zeros as possible. Unfortunately, that's not the case here. We have a matrix without any zeros. So let's randomly pick this column as the one we want to eliminate. If we eliminate this column, we have to go row by row to find E, S, and M. So I will also eliminate this row. Where these two lines cross represents E in this formula. So we'll take 3 and we'll multiply it to its sign. The way you find your sign, here's where the process gets its name from, we multiply this by a cofactor of negative 1 raised to the power of where that 3 is. That 3 is in the first row, first column. So negative 1 raised to the power of 1 plus 1, which is 2. And the minor will be the determinant 6, negative 2, 5, and negative 3. 6, negative 2, 5, and negative 3. The reason why we're doing this is because finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is relatively easy compared to finding one for a three by three. So we'll be doing this three times. In the next term, we have again E. So I'll cross out this row. E here represents one. And the sign is determined by taking negative one raised to the power of where that one is. It's in row one plus column one. So negative one raised to the power of three. And we're left with two, four, five, and negative one plus one more. Negative 1 is our element times negative 1 raised to the power of 4 because we're in the third row, first column. 3 plus 1 is 4. And the minor here is 2, 4, 6, and negative 2. We can now start to multiply and find a number. 3 times positive 1 is 3. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. And negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. The determinant here can be found by multiplying 6 and negative 3. That's negative 18 minus the product of these two. So negative 18 minus negative 10. That's equal to negative 8. That's equal to negative 24. Over here, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Minus 20, that's negative 26. Multiplying these two factors, we end up with plus 26. And over here, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 24. That's negative 28. Multiplying these, we end up with positive 28. Adding and subtracting these numbers gives us a determinant of 30. And there you have it. That is how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix using cofactor expansion. For another example, make sure you watch question 2 of this series.